friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed if you've not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so that you get notified anytime I upload a video so I want to say thank you for subscribing and have for seeing my videos I love to share information about life in Canada and everything useful and please also note that these information I share they are not information that I have generated myself they are information that are already in the public domain. They've already been publicized, but it's just that um, a lot of people do not know how to access this information. So my own role is to show you where to go and see the information for yourself so that you can make good use of this information. So that being said, I'll be talking about the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. And the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot is something that was announced earlier this year with a start date uh, or a start period in fall. And we're already in fall, fall started in October. So we're already in fall, we are, we'll soon be entering November. Um, the start date has not been fixed yet, but it's something that um, has been announced that's gonna start earlier this year. So we just have to get ourselves prepared. So this video is to tell you how to prepare yourself so that you could take advantage of the rural and northern immigration pilot. And um, one thing you should know is that it's similar to the Atlantic immigration pilot, but with slight differences. And I'm going to be showing you the slight differences um, when I'm showing you the requirements for the rural and northern immigration pilot. Then another thing you should know is that you just have to prepare yourself. The program has not started yet. There is no um, information on the Government of Canada website to say, oh, this is, this program has started yet. And I've also gone through the websites of these communities. So one thing I also need to mention is that uh, the 11 communities that have been selected to participate in these, um, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, these 11 communities, I will be creating a video for each community so that you can have an idea of what the processes will look like for each community. And then one of the major requirements of the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot is for you to get a recommendation from um, these communities. And there are two steps to get a recommendation from one of the communities. And the first step is the community or employer approaches a candidate and gives the candidate a job offer. That's the first approach. Then the second approach is a candidate approaches the community or the employer and gets a recommendation from the community or gets a job offer from the employer. I'll be showing you the process map on this video and also show you the requirements. What you should know is that this pilot has not started yet, but you need to get yourself prepared for the pilot so that once it starts, you take advantage of being an early bird. I will be creating videos on each of the communities to discuss what the economic um, development plan for each community is like. So you have an idea of the kind of people they are looking for. So you don't just, you know, wake up and throw your resume without knowing what kind of people are they looking to um, recommend in these communities. So if you're able to have an idea of what they are looking for, you'll be able to prepare yourself and you'll be able to know which community you should be focusing on. So you don't just, you know, do a random application and hoping for the best. So I will show you shortly what to do and um, get yourself prepared. So once the announcement is on that they have started, you can then take advantage of this. So this is the process map. Um, as you can see on the process map, it is stated step-by-step -step guide to permanent residence. On the process map, you can see the first point, which is the communities selected to participate in the pilot and then the two approach I mentioned earlier, that is the community or employer approaches prospective candidate. And then the second one is prospective candidate approaches community and or employer. So there are two different approach. One is for the community and the other is for the prospective candidate. So you can make a choice out of these two approach. And once it is um, 
published that the pilot has started, you can go ahead and start um, sending your applications. Then the third step is you have to submit your application for recommendation. And then the fourth step is the community reviews your application and will select the best fit candidate. So you can now see from this step, it moves on to the next step where the community has to recommend the candidate and make them eligible to apply to IRCC for permanent residence. And the next step is candidates submit permanent residence application to IRCC and IRCC will assess the application against the federal selection criteria and admissibility requirements. And the next step is the candidate obtains permanent residence and the person is welcome to the community to live and to work in the community. So this is a brief summary of the process map. This pilot is a community driven pilot, like I mentioned earlier, and it means the community will have to promote the pilot and their community to prospective candidates. The community will be assessing prospective candidates based on who best fits the economic needs of the community, have a genuine employment opportunity and have the intention of staying in the community. So these are very important criteria before they can give a recommendation. The first requirement is the work experience. You need to have one year of continuous work experience in the past three years. And you should take note of what has been under underlined and that is volunteering or unpaid internships. They don't count as work experience. So if you have volunteered in the past or you have um, done a job that you have not been paid for, it doesn't count. Self-employment also does not count as work experience in this pilot. The second requirement is the educational requirements. So it's either you have a Canadian high school diploma or you have an educational credential assessment report from a designated organization such as WES. So there's no way you can avoid it. If you have a high school, the minimum is a high school certificate. That's a high school is a secondary school certificate. You need to evaluate it for this program. The third requirement is the language requirement and you must meet the minimum language requirement based on your NOC category that applies to the job offer in the community. So if your job of, if your NOC category is a zero, or and A, your job offer language requirement has to be uh, a CLB6. So please take note of the requirements for your IELTS scores. The fourth requirement is your proof of fund. So you can see a table of what the proof of funds is. The proof of fund is slightly lower than what is, is required for um, the normal express entry. It's even higher than AIPP. So you must have a genuine job offer to work in one of the participating communities. Now, this is the list of the participating communities and you have 11 of them and about five of them are in Ontario, two in Manitoba, one in Saskatchewan, one in Alberta and one, okay, two in British Columbia. So I, like I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a video of, for each community and today's, um, focus will be on Sudbury, Ontario. Details about how to apply to a community will be available later in 2019. We still have two months to go. That's November and December to go. For now, the only thing that you can do is to research about the different communities and find out more about them, which I will be talking about Sudbury, Ontario, and Sudbury is one of the 11 communities um, selected for this pilot. This last slide is just a summary of what I have been talking about earlier. And if you look at the bottom, it is stated when communities are ready to begin recruiting and recommending candidates, more information will be available. To find more information about Sudbury, you have to come to this website, which is investsudbury.ca. On this website, you'll find information about the community and the employers in this community and the industry that is dominant in this community. 
when a community has a predominant industry that is the area they tend to look for people for to come and work and they kind of experience labor shortages in that industry especially if it is a dominant industry so when you click on our focus here the first industry that is um a popular industry in Sudbury is mining and mining supply so the mining industry is a huge industry in Sudbury and the second one is health and life sciences the third is the film industry the fourth is the art and culture so you just have to get yourself familiar with this website and you get to know that these are the industries that they might likely be you know um recommending immigrants for because that is what is available in their community so the mining industry for you to know the list of employers that are in Sudbury you have to click on skilled workforce and then click on mining supply and service industry it takes you to a page where you see the list of all the employers in the mining and mining supply industry so this web page here shows you the list of all the employers in the mining industry in Sudbury you just have to research further about each of these employers and if you can find something teachable that is within your own occupation then to find information concerning immigration you click on how can we help and then click on immigration options when you scroll down you find the information about what the rural and northern immigration pilot is i am highlighting this portion for you to see that the community will be accepting application late fall 2019 for the rural and northern immigration pilot so they have not started yet they will be accepting application when they start once it is announced that the pilot will start there will be a ministerial instruction concerning the pilot and once it is announced you will find it on the government of canada website that the rural and northern immigration pilot has started with a start date once they announce the start date the details of how everything will be um, will be updated on their website so for more information come to this website and get the information you need concerning Sudbury thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video please don't forget to share subscribe and like thumbs up and everything you can do for this video because these are the things that encourages me to like create more content Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.